hello everyone welcome back in the previous video we uh, fix our issue uh, we did not fix our issue we uh, i explained the purpose that how we can catch the exception so now the time is to build the edit route okay so here i'm going to build the get and it's so it would be a to do's edit so i'm going to make this very simpler after this video so wait for a moment okay so i edit and then before this edit i'm going to accept an id here id and then i'm going to pass this like this okay and then i'm going to make this uh, to do and then to do controller and then what is the next so next would be the it would be a edit and uh, then i'm going to assign this a uh, name name this so uh, to do's dot to edit okay to do's dot edit so let's go here and uh, go to our project and the project we have this edit button so let me add our route here so our route would be the what is the route name so it's edit we created right now and this also need a parameter like we did this in the show so let's add this here and then we are going to this edit page so this edit so let's go to the controller and build this edit method so this one would be the function edit and then this accepting an id like we did this in the show and here first we are checking let me copy all of the stuff from there because it's uh, totally same so checking that if this is there so that's why we are turning that enable to look at otherwise it will return the edit not show okay go to this edit one and in the edit we are displaying this form so here we need to display our value so first let me show you that how we can redirect to the edit and how it's redirecting us so uh, hover on it and yes it's displaying that to do id one so click on this edit and yes it's opened this edit form and now the time is to display uh, get the values from the database and display them here so our values our values are passing from this to do and we can get this from to do variable so here you need to add this uh, at the end of value attribute and uh, uh, try to, uh, to do variable is set and we can get the value from there so what is the value so we are going to get the title right and then here we are going to also uh, assign a value oops value and this oh we have a text area so we don't need to add this value stuff we need to add this here so like uh, to do and then here we need the description so give it a refresh so it's will our values will be there and yes it's a uh, value will be there so i don't know why it's adding this space here every time and then we need to add one more hidden fields why let's add this hidden why i'm adding this hidden because i'm going to pass this to do id hmm because we are going to update this uh, to do so very what is the value value would be to do id which we are getting this id from this to do variable so we are sending this to do id so now the time is to uh, set this form so here we are going to method we are going to use is post and uh, action would be the we are going to the uh, what is the name of our next route so our next route would be the update so let me make this update so i will update this uh, i will create this uh, route in a moment and then here you need to define your method and method would be we are going to use this put method why because we are updating not storing anything so that's why we need to add this method property here or you can also define this like input and define this method okay so we added this uh, here and uh, now the time is to build this uh, update route so uh, let me copy this post route it's same as okay and here you need to type put right so you can also use this post but uh, uh, this uh, put is designed for this update so update and then it's going to update 
and then this would be also an update right so let's go to the controller and build this update method so this update would be like this public function make this update and here we are going to return our all of the value so we need to get it here so we created this uh, to do request so i'm not going to use the laravel built-in request because we created our own of own request okay so go here submit this and it's not going to submit oh it's not going to submit why because we did not refresh our web page so let's click on this update so it says that page expired why it's throwing this error because let's go to the edit form and here we need an attribute of csrf hmm. so this in this uh, live coding session you are understanding that uh, what is the uh, exception and how to uh, get rid of this exception so let's uh, click on this update again and yes now it's printing our values great so now the time is to update them into the database so let me check the video size it's going bigger so in the next video we are going to uh, build this through we are going to update this in the database so i will meet you in the next one bye bye